Hello dear he's and she's. Well, two weeks ago I bought a set of Powerline range extenders, specifically for getting internet in my shared workshop. I'm unfortunately not able to run a proper fibre, ethernet or even coax run down there, so I had to use something that would make use of the pre-existing infrastructure, and this was pretty much the only option. I bought this specific set because I wanted Wi-Fi and an outlet pass through. I usually prefer to use network gear equipment, just because personally that's who I've had the best luck with. However, at the time, I couldn't find an adapter that had both Wi-Fi and an outlet pass through. Now these are rated for 1300 megabit. I don't exactly know how that works, seeing as most things are either gigabit or 2.5 gig. Maybe it means that gigabit over ethernet and five gigahertz Wi-Fi, and the other 300 megabit over 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know, seems a bit weird to me. Either way, I only get about 10 megabit from my room to the workshop. Not amazing, but it's stable, and I don't really need a whole lot for just transferring small files and browsing, etc. What we will be doing today is conducting a few short tests to see how these perform under certain conditions. For a control, I decided to connect the router through my network switch. It's rated for gigabit, so I would be able to get the most out of what my ISP provides. The first test will have both the transmitter and receiver next to each other on the same outlet. For the next test, I'll use a 30-foot extension cord. For example, you might use this if you don't have a long enough Ethernet cable. Then we'll do the same with the receiver on the other side of the room. For each test, I'll take my laptop next to the socket and plug it in via Ethernet and run speed test. So here are the results. For the control, I managed a 343 to 344 megabit upload with about a 305 to 310 download. That's usually what I get from my ISP. When we were on the same socket, I got 260 to 270 megabit with an average 280 upload. The extension cord on the same socket, it dropped to around 145 with an upload of 200, though there was an outlier. For the socket across the room, it was similar to the first test with a slightly less upload of about 10 megabits and oddly the upload was about was greater than 310 with a 30 foot cord on the different socket it got around 175 download 150 upload and finally I decided to include the shed it's a little unfair because it's so far away and on a completely different circuit that is literally outside the building but we got a pretty stable 10 megabit download with oddly a 20 megabit upload I I think that's because the receiver has better internals than the transmitter. There wasn't much added latency, only a millisecond or two, though we did see a small outlying spike in the workshop, about 14 milliseconds. St still considerably better than my old internet. Anyway, I hope you found this at all useful. Thanks, and see you in the next one.